Alrighty, I just got uh, three scam calls from the IRS saying I owe money, so I'm going to try to have a little fun here, see if I can get a hold of them. Yeah, here's the message. Sued or put in jail, so I owe them money. So let's give them a call. See if we can hold anybody. Start the video when I get a hold of them. Hi there. Uh, I just got a uh, message that um, uh, that there's a uh, what I need to do because I'm I'm really concerned and scared because um, I've never had a lawsuit and the um, the message said that. Uh, I owe money and I don't want to, to go to jail or have a lawsuit. So I was just calling the number to see um, what what the issue is and what I need to do. So, and which number you have received or what message that you have to call back? Uh, 202-407-9848. And I... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, thank you. Repeat the number slowly. Two zero two four zero seven. Four zero? Yes, four zero seven. Seven. Nine eight four eight. Okay. Hold on for a moment. Oh my goodness, okay. So I, I messed up on my taxes and um, one of the numbers was incorrect on the taxes, so now there's a lawsuit. Hello? Uh, yes, yes, and hold on for a moment. Uh, I'm just having a word with Martin, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm really concerned about this, so I need to take care of it because I don't want to go to jail or, or have a lawsuit. I've, I've never been in trouble before. Okay, okay. Just be relaxed, hold on for a moment. Okay, thank you. No, that's not my address. Who, who are I? Did it didn't have a name on the uh, voicemail? Who? Sorry, 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 sorry. This is not yours. This is. Hold on for a 
number? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is your cell phone number. Okay. Yeah. Right? And just just so so who I mean what who are you looking for? Maybe maybe it's the wrong number. You're looking for Jason? Hold on for a moment. Okay, sure. So I hope it's a mistake, but if not, I want to take care of it right away cuz I I don't, you know, want anything bad on my record. I'm just pulling up your racket, hold on. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry? What's your first name? Uh, Jason. Jason. Am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, what's your last name? Correct. Jason? Yes. Start talking to a correct person only. Yes, so uh, you do have the right, right person? Okay. Um, how much, how much money do I owe? The amount you owe to the IRS is $9,584.73. Oh my God. So, so listen carefully. Okay? Wow. I, okay. Um, and the issue is again, my, I did my taxes incorrectly. So I, I didn't pay enough in taxes. So now I know I owe 9000 Yes. So, hold on. What was the amount again? Nine thousand something. Nine thousand five hundred and eighty-four dollars and seventy-three cents. Oh my God. Okay. Ah. Uh, so what? What do we have to do from here? So I don't have the uh, lawsuit. So I will just go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name. So please do not interrupt while I'm speaking. Oh. I will give you a fair chance to talk once I'm done with a part of my job, okay? Okay, thank you. Because because this line has been recorded by IRS headquarters, General Attorney Office, and Municipal Court House. Oh, goodness, okay. I, and I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, my, uh, I will give you my badge ID number and my name. Okay. First, uh, first I will... Uh, okay, write down my badge ID number and my name. Okay, go ahead. Write down. My name is Officer Kevin Jackson. Okay. And my badge ID number is IRM. Okay. G3798. Got it. Thank you. Because, uh, so I will just go ahead and read out the legal charges because please do not interrupt. While I'm speaking, I will give you a fair chance to talk once I'm done with a part of my job. I understand, okay. Because this line has been recorded by IRS, I told you. And this recorded line, we have to play inside the courthouse for the evidence. So it might be against you or it might be in your favor. Okay. So as for the documents, so as for the documents, we conducted an audit on the tax file for the year of 2008 to 2013, and we found that there is a miscalculation error, and the tax that you have filed doesn't match the tax record in our system. Because you have done some mistake in your taxes, and there is a miscalculation you have done. So, according to section 101, that amount is still outstanding on your name that you have not paid for that reason. So the local authorities with an arrest warrant will be coming at your place to arrest you in one hour. The travel lesson will be going to cancel and everything under your name, like your bank account, credit card, property, everything. And you will also face federal imprisonment up to 
five years. Oh. Now the total balance outstanding on your name, I told you nine thousand five hundred eighty-four dollars and seventy-three cents, which includes your pending taxes, your legal charges, and a late fee. Now, did you do this intentionally or was it by mistake? Listen. Oh my goodness, that yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I don't want to get arrested. I don't know that I did any mistakes. I have an accountant do anything, everything. So. Oh. Uh, I'm really nervous and scared right now, but I I, I, I didn't do it on purpose, I promise. Uh, don't be scared. This is the recorded life. Okay? So now I don't think you can do anything about this because an arrest warrant has already been issued on your name and we are already moving forward with the lawsuit. So, so, so Jason, if given a chance, will you be able to resolve this matter to stop us? Will you will you be able to resolve this matter? Yeah, I don't want to get arrested, Kevin. Uh, so I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do to get it resolved. You just need to tell me what we need to do. See, first of all, we do not provide this procedure to anyone. We are providing you because you are a genuine taxpayer. Okay, if you will go to resolve this matter inside the courthouse, then you have to pay seventy-five thousand dollars, which includes your pending taxes, legal charges, and a light fee. And not any charges and a court fee. If you will go to resolve this matter, I I can't afford seventy five thousand dollars, but I I could probably pay the ninety five eighty four. I can put that on a, okay. a credit card or something. So you want to pay seventy five thousand dollars, or you want to pay nine thousand five hundred and eighty four dollars seventy. No, no, I I can't afford seventy five thousand dollars, but I I could pay uh, ninety five. Uh, nine thousand five hundred and eighty-four. If that'll resolve it. So listen, today is the payment mode, not in a uh, not in a check, not in a credit card. You have to pay this amount of money in a cash. Okay, you don't t you don't take credit card. No, not in a credit card, not in a check. Okay. You have to pay this amount of money in a cash. Okay. Cash. I'm sorry. Yes, in the cash. So, do you have this amount of money available with you? No, not with me, but I can get it at the bank. Yeah, you can get from the bank. Okay. So, what you have to do, you have to move over to the bank. Okay? Okay. So, go to your bank and withdraw this, that amount of money. Okay? Uh, cell phone number. Yes. Okay, so hold on for a moment. I'm just having a word with Martini. Hold on for a moment. Hello. Hello. Hello, Jess. Yes. Okay. So, uh, hold on for a moment. Uh, where where would I send the money to? Hey, hey, uh, I will transfer this call to my senior officer who is handling your case file. Okay. Okay. What's his or her name? Uh, Eric Smith. Uh, I make sure my officer will be helping you how to resolve this matter. Okay. Okay. I I really want to take care of this because I you said the authorities will be here in an hour and I want to get this you know resolved so I don't get put in jail. Hey. I can't go to jail right now. I have a for this call to my senior officer. Please be on a hold for a moment. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being on hold. This is senior officer Eric Smith. How are you? Ah, uh, well, not not so good now. Um, I'm concerned that I'm going to get put in jail, so I'm pretty nervous right now. Okay, well, I believe you told my officer that you want to resolve this case. Is yeah. that correct? Yes, a absolutely, because I've never been in trouble before, and I, I don't want to uh, to go to jail. He mentioned there's an arrest warrant out for me right now. Um, is that is that accurate, or can we? what do we need to do? Yeah, I can resolve this case. So, like, right now, the mode of payment is not to be done from any credit card. No debit card, no checks. 
because within one and a half hour, if you fail to resolve this case, there is going to be a lien on all of your assets. So we don't accept any credit cards, no debit cards, no checks. So right now, can you tell me how far is your bank from your house? Uh, there's one right down the street. It's pretty close. Okay, so right now I want you to leave from your house. Once you reach to the parking lot of your bank, speak to me. Do not enter the bank unless and until I tell you. Okay, so go to your... Right now leave from your house. Once you reach to the parking lot of your bank, speak to me. Sit inside your car and speak to me. Okay, and along with you take a pen and a paper with you because I need to give you some information. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I can do that in about five minutes. And then, how do I call you back? No, do not hang up this call while driving. Put me on a speaker mode. Okay. While driving, put me on a speaker mode because I don't want you to break any laws. Oh, this. Speak to the part of your bank. Sit inside your car and speak to me. Well, this is not a cell phone. It's a, a landline. I don't have a cell phone, so this is this is a landline to a house. This is your phone. Uh, this is your cell phone number. I can see here. No, it's not. It's not a cell phone. It's a landline. Help me out with your cell phone number. I'm sorry. Help me out with your cell phone number. I I don't have a cell phone. Your cell phone number. I'm sorry. Hello. Hold on. I'm I'm still here. Yeah. So help me out with your cell phone number. I I don't have a cell phone number, only a, a landline. Okay, so right now, along with you, take your cell phone. Okay, I know that this is a cell phone number. These lines are federally monitored and recorded by IRS headquarters. So whatever you speak, it will be against you or in favor of you. So I don't want you to lie on this recorded line that this is a whole landline number. No, I know that no. This is a cell phone number. Okay, it has been. Stated in my system that it's your cell phone number. So yeah, right now I want you to take your cell phone along with you. Once you reach the parking lot of your bank, that speaks to me. Yeah, it's it's not a land. It's a landline. It's not a cell phone. It is a cell phone number, Jason. No, I I promise it's it's not. I don't have a cell phone. It's only a a landline number. Okay, can you go to your store and buy a pay phone? Uh, yeah, if I need to, I can get like a prepaid cell phone or something like that. Yeah, you can. I, right now, I want to buy a pay phone. Okay? Okay, yeah, I, I can do that. And then how, how would I send the money to you? So I need to call you first before I get, get the money, right? Oh, right now, go buy a pay phone. Okay, oh. as soon as you buy a pay phone, then give me a call on my direct desk number. Take down my number. Okay, go ahead. It's 202-239-2745. All right, and I'm sorry, your, your name again, was that Eric? Eric Smith. Eric, okay. All right, Eric, I'll do that right now. Um, how much time do we have before the cops come? I mean, I, I need to go right now, right? Okay, take down my other number. Yeah, I have 202-239-2745, correct? Oh, take that as a number. And uh, in case uh, you won't be able to reach me on that number, you can take down my other number. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's 202-239-2310. Okay, sounds sounds good, Eric. So I'll go do that right now, and then um. So right now, go to a store, buy a payphone. As soon as you buy a payphone, give me a call on my direct desk number. Okay, but don't don't go into the bank yet to get the money. I need to call you first. No, first go to your buy a payphone uh -huh. and give me a call. Then reach to your bank. Okay. And if you go speak to me, don't speak to me. Do not rush to your bank. Okay. As you find your payphone. Give me a call on my direct desk number, then speak to me, then I'll tell you, okay? Okay, and, and Kevin Kevin said that the there's an arrest warrant, and the cops will be here in about an hour, and I'm really nervous. I don't want to get arrested, so I, I need to go right now, right? Um, are the are the cops on the way, or are they going to wait for us to handle this? Hey, as soon as you disconnect this line, okay, within 45 minutes, one of our officers will be coming at your doorstep to pick you up and take you to the courthouse because there has been an arrest warrant issued on your name. So do not hang up this line. 
because these lines are federally monitored and recorded by IRS headquarters. Okay. 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 But right now, do not hang up this call. Go to a store, buy a payphone, give me a call on my direct desk number. Right now, I'm working on your case file, so I'm waiting for your call. Okay, sounds good. I'll call you uh, as soon as I get that phone. Yeah, so do not hang up this call. Okay, yeah, I, I appreciate all your help, Eric. Um, you're a very kind person, and I, I appreciate you working with me. And let's get this resolved, because um, I have a, you know, kids, and I can't go to jail. Yeah, fine. So right now, rush to your store, go buy a payphone, okay? Give me a call from your payphone on my direct desk number, and do not hang up this phone. Okay, I, I appreciate all your help, Eric. We'll talk soon. Uh, okay. okay. Lord. I wonder if they're going to call me back now. $75,000? Wow, these people are crazy. All right, uh, scene two in a little bit, maybe.